Welcome back. We just saw the Southern Aroostook girls taking down number eight Ashland 77 to 22. The Warriors are back in the Class D North semifinals. It comes as no shock to anyone. The team hasn't lost to the cross center in three years. Now, while dominant, this year's team has almost a brand new look. A halftime jingle that personifies what Southern Aroostook has done to everyone it's played. Monday, another one bit the dust, the Ashland Hornets. Second half, I felt a lot better. We got jitters out and stuff like that. I still get them, even though it's my fourth year. I still get them. So I, it was good to get that out of the way. Go, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Hey, girl. The scoreboard read 77 to 22 in favor of the two time defending state champs, but the butterflies were in full effect. Um, I'd say we're still experienced, but we're a little bit younger. We have a lot of new girls, eighth graders, freshmen, and three new starters. So it's new for them. They got a lot of good minutes last year, but it's still different starting and coming out strong. Daggett and future Husson Eagle McKaylin Porter have gone from budding stars to household names. Now it's their turn to groom the next generation. I've definitely liked being the leader of the team and like being the oldest and helping these younger girls because when I was an eighth grader or freshman, I didn't have that. So it's nice to be able to give them that. Moments like this, let's do it. Okay, leave it on the floor. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. With every bucket, the Warriors are further imprinting their legacy, which one day might be enshrined upstairs. Uh, it's been amazing. I mean, some of my greatest memories have came from being here and like winning the gold balls and even just like my teammates and bus rides and it's just so much fun.